In this video, I'm going to show you how to start a dropshipping business on Amazon. And I'll walk you through every step of the way so that by the end of this video, you'll be able to start your own successful dropshipping business on Amazon. From registering your seller account to finding trending products to sell on your Amazon store, not only will I show you the best methods, but I'll also provide you with an Amazon dropshipping cheat sheet, including all of the tools and resources that you'll need to start the right way right after watching this video. I hope you're as excited as I am because dropshipping automation is finally available on Amazon. So let's go ahead and learn all about it. Quick intro and let's go. Hello and welcome back to how to start a dropshipping business on Amazon. Glad to have you here. And if you haven't done so yet, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to always learn about the next step in your e-commerce business. We've got so much going on, including dropshipping tips and strategies, success stories, case studies, what products to sell, full step-by-step -step tutorials, and so much more. So go ahead and check out our YouTube channel, enable those bell notifications, and let's get this Amazon show on the road. So the first thing that you need to do is register for your Amazon seller account. But before we do that, let's get to know this Amazon dropshipping cheat sheet that I created for you, which you will have access to. And this includes all of the resources and tools that you'll need to succeed with your Amazon dropshipping business, starting with creating your seller account, which we will jump into in just about a second. But if you want access to this cheat sheet after watching this video, leave a comment below, hashtag Amazon. Let me know what your top takeaways from this video and I will happily send you this cheat sheet, but don't ask for it now. First watch the video and learn how to do it step by step. And for those of you who are completely new here, let me answer a couple of questions before we get started. So what is Amazon dropshipping? Dropshipping is a business model where you can have an online store and sell products without actually holding them in stock. As soon as you get an order, you'll go to your supplier's website, purchase the product and ship it to your end customer. The profit that you keep is the difference between the source price and your selling price. And now with Amazon, the world's number one e-commerce giant, you can dropship on their platform by joining other sellers buy boxes. And I'm going to go through all of that soon. But in any case, what you're going to do here is create your dropshipping business on Amazon and sell products on Amazon without actually holding them in stock. So we understand that we're going to create a dropshipping store on Amazon and we're going to sell products without putting any money in into our inventory. And of course, I'm going to show you a way to do it on a budget without having any expenses until you start making your first few sales. Next, what's the difference between Amazon FBA and Merchant by Amazon? Amazon FBA is a fulfilled by Amazon business model, which we are not doing in this video because that is where you're actually purchasing stock. You're shipping it to Amazon's warehouses and you're selling it from their warehouse and Amazon will take care of the logistics for you when it comes to shipping out the product and they'll also handle your customer returns. This of course comes with its own pricing. You're going to have to pay Amazon warehousing fees and so forth. And you're also going to have to sell your inventory so that you can invest in new inventory, but that is not the dropshipping business model. On the other hand, we have merchant by Amazon. So that is what we're talking about here. And this simply means that you can sell on Amazon without using the fulfilled by Amazon service and your products that are listed are going to be fulfilled by a third party seller, which in this case is you, the dropshipper. So that's an explanation of the difference between Amazon FBA and merchant by Amazon. Amazon. And we, of course, are going with the merchant by Amazon model so that we can drop ship on Amazon. Now, are we actually creating new products on Amazon? So the answer to this is no, we're not creating a new product. We're actually selling products that already exist on Amazon. Only I'm going to show you how you can be cheaper than all of the other sellers. Therefore, you're going to be the number one seller in the buy box. And in other words, that means that you are going to make most of the sales. Now, if you're not sure about what I'm talking about yet, do not worry because everything will be clear in this video, but we are not creating new products on Amazon. There's a whole bunch of paperwork that we're going to have to fill for that. And we're going to have to manufacture our products. And that again, drives us away from the dropshipping business model, which is not what we're trying to do. We want to keep things easy, simple with a minimal investment while we enjoy maximum returns. And finally, before we get started, which suppliers can we use when we're dropshipping on Amazon? So the answer to that is you can use any supplier that you want. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the AutoDS 
supported suppliers because we have over 25 dropshipping suppliers where you can automate your dropshipping business with them and without automation we can't really scale. So in other words you can use any supplier that you want and to take it even one step further you can even try dropshipping products from Amazon US to Amazon UK or from Amazon UK to Amazon Australia or from Amazon Australia to Canada. So in other words from the same company so from Amazon but from one region to another. So that's another way that you can do it but in this video I'm going to show you how you can use any supplier to dropship on Amazon and enjoy dropshipping automation so that you can really scale your business the right way. So let's go ahead and get started. Step number one create your Amazon seller account. So if you haven't done so yet you'll have a link in the cheat sheet all you have to do is click on it and you'll move over to the Amazon seller central where here all you have to do is sign up for a free account. Now don't mind the fact that it says for $40 a month plus selling fees because after you register your account you're going to downgrade from a business account down back to a professional account and I'm going to show you the pricing soon but in any case don't worry about it because you're not going to pay anything up front. Now I already created my account so there's no reason for me to sign up but the things that you will have to put up with there is basic information like your name, your contact details, address, phone number and all of that and you'll also have to verify your account so you're going to have to go through an account verification and this can come in a couple of different ways but what you will have to do is show a government issued ID so you're going to have to scan your ID card and send it to Amazon during the verification process and besides that they're also going to ask for a credit card or a bank statement. Now with these documents you're going to have to have your name and your address on it so that Amazon can really verify that you are who you say you are so make sure that the details that you're providing when registering registering for your seller account are the same as what we're going to see under your government issued ID and your bank or credit card statements. Now once you pass all of that they may also invite you to a video conference. Don't worry too much because I already went through that and it's actually pretty simple. They're just going to ask to get into a video chat meeting with you. They're going to show you a certain date and time and you're going to have to show them the documents that you submitted when registering for your seller account. So they're going to ask you to show your bank statement like this and your ID like this and they will see that you are who you say that you are and your account will be verified. In any case everything that you need to know about the verification process is provided in the Amazon seller cheat sheet and you will also have a link to the global seller identity verification so that you'll know everything that you need to go through in order to pass the verification process. Don't be alarmed this is actually pretty simple and after you realize that they're just looking for a couple of things then it actually gets pretty easy and when you finally get approved you're going to get an email that looks like this. Hello we have reviewed the documents that you provided and were able to complete your verification process. You can now sign in to seller central and start selling on Amazon. So what I can do right now is go ahead and click on login, enter my seller account credentials and I will log in to the Amazon seller central dashboard which looks like this. So as you can see right here I don't have any sales, I don't really have any products up in the air yet but we're going to do that now and you can see that I've been approved on a few different marketplaces. So when you're registering for Amazon USA they're also going to open up Amazon Canada and Amazon Mexico but here let's just focus on Amazon USA. Here we can see how much sales we're making but we can also use the AutoDS dashboard for that, more on that soon. How many orders we have, messages from our buyers, our balance sales from promotions and so forth. Now here we can do a lot of things like going through all of our product catalog, adding products to our store, managing our inventory which in this case isn't so relevant, manage all of our orders, see our advertising campaigns and etc etc. But we're not going to go into that now. I just wanted to show you what a verified seller account looks like that's ready to go. And remember once again after registering your account Amazon on a default method is going to put you on the business plan which isn't good because it's going to charge you $40 a month before you even start listing anything up for sale. And of course you don't have to pay anything up front. And a lot of new Amazon sellers simply do not know about this and go on wasting their money. So what you're going to do in the beginning is you're going to hover over this settings icon right here and click on account info. Here you can see my account information. So my Amazon store name is e-commerce drop LLC. And you can see that my listing status is available. I can list on Amazon Canada. Amazon.com and Amazon Mexico is inactive right now because the subscription doesn't support it but I don't really care because I don't want to sell there but I can sell on Amazon USA both of which are great markets. What you want to do here is under your services you can see that my selling on Amazon is on a professional and individual account instead of a business one which means that I'm going to have to pay $40 a month. So what you're going to do here is click on manage and here you will have an option to downgrade your subscription. For 
me, it's upgrade because I already downgraded from a business account, which costs $40 per month, to an individual account, which costs zero. But there are more selling fees here. We're going to talk about selling fees in just about a minute. But make sure that you do this as soon as you sign into your account. Downgrade your business plan into a professional plan and don't pay one penny more than you have to until you actually get started, start making sales and profit. And that is exactly what I'm going to show you how to do. Now, before we jump into product research and listing products on our stores, we need to understand Amazon's fees and know exactly how much we're going to pay, what our fees are, so that we'll know exactly how much we're profiting at the end of the day. So here's what we did so far. We created our Amazon seller account, went through the verification process. Now that our accounts are up and active, we downgraded from a business plan to a professional plan. But let's go over the plans right now and understand exactly when is the right time to move over to the business plan. So of course, you have the link in the cheat sheet. Just click on Amazon selling plan and you will see this page right here. So I'm just going to scroll down and get to where the relevant part is which is right here, the selling plans. So as we can see, there are two plans, the individual plan and the professional plan. I think I mix and match the titles in this video. I may have called it business and professional and whatnot. But at the end of the day, you have the individual and the professional plan. And as soon as you log into your account, as I showed you, you need to downgrade from a professional to an individual plan, as you can see on my account right here. So on my selling on Amazon, it automatically has a professional plan for Amazon Mexico, but Amazon Mexico is not active and it's not going to charge me anything for that plan. But for the plan that I do have active, the individual plan, that of course is working for Amazon US and Amazon Canada, as I showed you. So you want to have the individual plan. And here you can see that it doesn't have any monthly fee. However, every time you sell an item, you are going to pay Amazon a 99 cent fee. So that is a fixed $1 fee for every time you sell a product. So as long as you're selling up to 40 products per month, this is a good plan to go with. But once you exceed 40 sales per month, that would be a good time to move over to a professional plan, just like selling 40 items on an individual plan will cost you. However, above 40 products, the professional plan is going to be worth it because it won't go over $40. But this is a fixed monthly price. And this is only after you sell an item. So be sure to stay on the individual plan until you plan to exceed 40 sales per month. Now, besides the fixed fee, there are also category selling fees. So this is something that you need to know about. I'm going to scroll to it because we're not using fulfilled by Amazon. We don't have to worry about warehouse fees. Let's just get to the categories fees table, which is right here. So for example, we're not going to sell Amazon device accessories, so we don't have to worry about a whopping 45% selling fee every time we sell it. But the average here should be around 15%. So let's say, for example, if we're selling clothing and accessories, that's going to be a 17% referral fee to Amazon with a minimum of 30 cents. So if you don't reach a minimum of 30 cents after being charged 17% from your Amazon selling price, then you will pay the minimum of 30 cents. Next example, let's go with electronic accessories because there are so many products that we can drop ship in this niche. And here you're going to pay 15% for the portion of sales price up to $100. And for any portion of the sale over $100, you're going to pay just 8%. Eyewear, 15%, footwear 15%, furniture 15% up to $200 and 10% for over $200. So you don't have to worry about selling high ticket items, you're actually going to pay a lower fee. So get to know this page so that you'll understand exa exactly what your fees are and you'll know exactly what to put in the AutoDS system for your break even settings if you're using AutoDS that is and I'm going to show you that in just a couple of minutes. But that is understanding your Amazon selling plan as well as your selling fees. Okay, now that our accounts are up and running, let's move on to the good stuff. We're going to start adding products to our Amazon stores. But before that, we need to make sure that we're selling the right products that people are actually looking to buy so that we'll make our sales and profit because that's what we're here to do at the end of the day. So what we're going to do next is learn about the best product research methods, all which have been linked in the Amazon cheat sheet which I will give you access to. Once again, just leave a hashtag Amazon. Let me know what your top takeaway is from this video and I will happily send you this cheat sheet. So now let's talk about the product research method so that we will sell the right products to our customers. So the number one product research method that I recommend everybody to use today, if of course you are a member of AutoDS, is the new winning products add-on. So as soon as you log into AutoDS, you'll notice on the left side, under marketplace, you'll have winning products. And if I click on that, then here, I will have a list of the best selling products along with proof on how well these items are selling for other sellers, what ads they're running on these products, 
where they're purchasing it from, how much sales they're making, how much profits and everything else. So this is a great tool for beginners, advanced and expert dropshippers to find more product ideas. And let's just take a look at one example. So let's click on this cross body bag right here. And here I can see more product information. So not only can I import it to my store in just one click by hovering over import draft and clicking on it, but I have here all of the products information, including the Facebook ad that the seller is running for this product right here. So as you can see on his ad, he's got over 6,000 engagements, about 400 comments, 660 shares. So this is a really, really popular backpack. And here you have the seller's website. So you can see how much he's selling it for and you can import it to your store and make over $20 in profit, even if you're selling for a cheaper price than what this seller is selling for. So just import it to your store and enjoy the sales and profit that come with selling these in demand items. So go to our winning products marketplace, check out all of these products with all of their product analysis and make the right product research decisions for your dropshipping store. That is product research method number one. The second one is reading our product finding blog articles because there not only do we share products like the ones that I just showed you, but more product finding methods, more product finding strategies and more trending items to sell in your stores. So just by clicking on that link in the cheat sheet, you can see right here a bunch of articles sharing the best selling products. Like let me just click on this monthly product finding article right here. And as you can see, we also have videos embedded inside the article. So if you want to watch, you can watch. And if you want to read, of course, you can read and go through all of these products while we did all of the hard work for you. And now we're simply sharing with you all of this information, including links to their ads, to the sources and everything else that you need to really get your product research on point. Now you do not have to copy and paste every product. Of course, what you're going to do here is learn about what products are trending, what categories are good, and then you're going to add more products similar to the ones that are being recommended to you. So that this way you can not only learn about the market and test and analyze it, but also start your own sales trends with lots of sales and profiting. So our product finding blog articles is a great resource for finding best selling products to sell. All of this information is completely free and we don't ask for anything in return. What we do hope that will happen is that you will start a successful business and of course automate it with AutoDS so that you will really be able to scale and make it to not just average numbers but to the really high numbers and hopefully even escape your nine to five or simply add another great source of income, which is what I've been doing for the last six years. The third method is our sell these now YouTube playlist. So just like how we have blog articles on what products to sell, product finding methods and strategies, tactics, and full detailed analytics on these products, we also have the playlist on YouTube where of course we share more products and you'll also find these videos embedded inside the article. So it really depends on what you prefer reading, watching, we have all of that for you with the best selling and most trending products. The fourth method is the AliExpress dropshipping center. Now, as you can see, I'm not going to dive deep into every one of these methods because you really have to put lots of hours down into it. And I really want to show you how you can add these products to your Amazon store and start getting down to the technical stuff. But here, as you can see, we have a full article on the AliExpress dropshipping center again with a video embedded inside. And this will teach you how to use the dropshipping center. Again, it's a completely free tool for you to use to find great and trending products to sell on your stores. You do not have to use AliExpress as a supplier if you do not want to, because there are over 25 suppliers, as I mentioned, that you can use. So here I am on AutoDS.com, just going to click on suppliers here on top. And here you have a list of over 25 suppliers with tens of millions of products that you can resell on your Amazon dropshipping store. Okay, and you can also automate your dropshipping business with them. You have the link to the dropshipping center article in the Amazon dropshipping cheat sheet. Next, you have Amazon's best sellers and movers and shakers. So again, the links are in that cheat. And here you can learn about the best selling items on Amazon so you can get a good idea of what's selling well there. And Amazon is a great example for doing your product research because you're trying to sell on Amazon. Therefore, you want to see what people are buying on Amazon. Now, Amazon's movers and shakers is another great category to find best sellers, especially those that are trending right now because this list is updating every 24 hours with hot sellers. You can also click on a category on the left side to see what the movers and shakers 
numbers are in the category that you are interested in. But all in all, these are the highest selling products on Amazon in the last 24 hours and it's updating all the time. So you can get some really fresh product ideas from this page. So that's a list of the best free product research methods. And believe me, it's more than enough to get started and make your first few sales, make some profits, learn to analyze and test the market and continue snowballing your way from there. Now, there are some paid product research tools. So if you want to put some budget aside, save some time, you want to use tools like Jungle Scout, Helium 10 and Seller Board to be able to analyze Amazon sellers the right way and see what is selling, how much they're selling and more seller analytics. Now, there is a free trial version, which I'm going to show you soon, but those are the best paid tools to be able to spy on your Amazon competition. And final thing before I start to sell on my Amazon account, the products that you want to avoid dropshipping do not sell products that are hazardous, that are made of liquids, do not sell medicines, supplements, products that have a choking hazard, tobacco related products, firearms, ammunition, and anything that has to do with those categories. I would also stay away from adult toys and those types of products because usually they require more approvals and bureaucracy and things that we simply do not have time for. And there are more than enough products for us to resell. So keep that in mind. And now let's learn how to start selling on Amazon. Now that we know how to create our accounts, now that we know about the best product research methods, it's finally time to dive in. So the first thing that you want to do is connect your Amazon account to AutoD so that you can start enjoying dropshipping automation. This comes with quick product importing, meaning any product from AutoDS supported suppliers that I already talked about, any product or products that you want to add from those suppliers, you can do so in just a couple of clicks from your suppliers to your Amazon store without having to do everything manually, which will consume way too much time and we won't really be able to scale. We're also going to enjoy price and stock automation. So whenever the prices change on our suppliers websites, the prices will also change accordingly and automatically on our dropshipping stores as well as the stock status. So if it goes out of stock on our suppliers website, it's also going to go out of stock on our Amazon stores. And and with dropshipping automation, we're also going to enjoy automatic orders. And this is also going to save us a whole bunch of time. As soon as an order comes in, we can automate the process and have the system fulfill the order for us instead of us having to do it manually, thus wasting more time. And when you make it to 50 plus orders per day, you really don't want to spend all day just fulfilling orders manually. You want to continue growing your dropshipping business. And through dropshipping automation, all of that, of course, is possible. And the only difference in automatic orders between Amazon and other selling channels is that through Amazon, we're going to have to manually enter our customer's address details on the order settings on AutoDS and then send the order out to automatic ordering. So first off, head to AutoDS.com and start your trial account. Now, once you did that, on the left side, click on your stores. Since you don't have any yet, you're going to add your own store. But in my case, I already have a whole bunch of stores here. So I'm just going to click on add a store and under select a store type, we're going to go with Amazon store and click continue. Now, make sure that you're connected to your Amazon account while this is going on, just to make the connection process more seamless. Now here, we're going to accept the process and click on confirm. And that's pretty much all there is to it. As long as we're signed into our Amazon seller account, AutoDS is now automatically synchronizing with our Amazon account. And that's all there is to it. My store is now connected. And here you can see that I have no products on my store, no products, no drafts, nothing to work on. And here on my Amazon account, I'm going to click on the menu. Then we're going to click on manage all inventory just so that you can see that I have no products on my Amazon account. So now let's add our first product using dropshipping automation. But before we do that, let's make sure that our break even settings and all of that is correct. Even if it isn't, we can always change it even after importing our product. But it's best to go to the settings page on AutoDS and and get all of that done beforehand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my store. So my Amazon store. And every time I add a product from different suppliers, I want to have these pre-configured settings. So if, for example, I'm going to drop ship from AliExpress China, here is the default product quantity of which, of course, you can change shipping methods. But what I want to do now is go to the pricing and make sure that my fees are about 15%. And on top of that, I want to make at least another 50% in profit, let's say another 30 cents. And we can also set up dynamic profiting and more things, but I'm not going to go over the advanced stuff now. So I'm going to save that and continue to other suppliers just so that you can have an easier process when starting to add these products. Now, before we import our first product, it's also important to understand if we need brand approval. So let's say that we did our product research and 
we really want to go with cat toys. We saw that it's really trending, that a lot of people like it. We saw a couple of really cool cat toys that we want to sell. And I'm also going to turn on the Jungle Scout extension because I want to show you guys how this can actually help you out. Now, this is the free trial account and there are more extensions that I'm recommending in the Amazon dropshipping cheat sheet, but we're going to get to that soon. With the Jungle Scout free extension, I can get some information like how well these products are ranking. For example, this product right here with 26,000 reviews is ranked 177 in pet supplies and number one in cat feather toys. So that is why it has so many reviews and that is why it's being shown here on first page. Plus you also have number of sellers. Now this helps you understand how many sellers are selling this item. Just because we're seeing a listing doesn't mean that only one seller is selling it. Then we have more information like the brand and is it using the fulfilled by Amazon business model or the Amazon merchant model and more product information. But the main takeaway here is to understand how many sellers are selling this item. If you see only one, then this brand is probably protected and you will not be able to dropship this item. And let me show you what I mean by that. So if I click on this product, let's go inside the product page. And when you'll want to list a product on Amazon, at least manually, you're going to do that through this option right here. On the right side, you'll see have one to sell and a sell on Amazon button. So I'm going to click on that just to show you an example of what it looks like when you cannot resell a product. And this is the message that you're going to be greeted with. So you need approval to list in this brand. You are not approved to list this product and we're not accepting any applications at this time. But they do give you a request approval link. So if you really want to sell this product, you're going to have to request approval and approve a whole bunch of stuff. Not really good for the dropshipping business model. So the free Jungle Scout extension can really help you understand what products you can resell. Like this one right here has 15 sellers. So we can easily enter the buy box for this product. So if I enter this product listing, we'll be able to see that there are more sellers selling this item. So if I scroll down a bit, then here on the right side, you can see more people selling this product. So one is selling a used one, another used, used. We're not here for selling used products. This is all of the used. And here we can also see a seller that's selling a new one, but for an expensive price for $40. And as we continue to scroll, we'll see more and more sellers and also drop shippers selling this product. So other sellers on Amazon, that's that seller that we saw for $40, but that's too expensive. That's not going to kill this buy box. What's going to kill this buy box is if we're able to sell this product for under $23.99. Now, remember when you're doing your product research and you're searching other suppliers for trending products, what you have to do at the end of the day, once you find a trending product is you have to search for it on Amazon and make sure that it's listed there because we're not creating new listings. As I already mentioned in this video, a great place to conduct your product research as I explained is also on Amazon since there you can see if the product already exists and you can also conduct your product research there since your buyers are from Amazon and you're also selling on the same platform so you can learn from your buyers behaviors but it's a really good idea to research the market not just on Amazon so what you're going to want to do next is I'm going to click on this item right here and now I want to find out what suppliers I can use to resell this product. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the image. Then I'm going to click on search image with Google. This is the Google lens method. And this will simply show me other websites that have this exact image on their sites. And this way I can also find other sellers and suppliers. So here, for example, we can see a whole bunch of results like a website called chinos.com, petlittlebro.com, probably bloggers with affiliate links to this page. And we've got more websites that I haven't heard of. Amazon, of course. So we have this listing a few times on amazon.com, on .co.uk. And you'll see more and more results, more people selling this item. Another way to do it is using AliExpress search by image. And this is going to find the product on AliExpress if that's who you want to use as your supplier. So you have the link to the Chrome extension in the Amazon dropshipping cheat sheet. But in any case, this is what it's going to look like. So you're going to right click on the image and now you're going to click on search goods on AliExpress by this image. And now it's simply going to search for that product on AliExpress. And in this case, we couldn't find this exact variation, but we can find it in different colors like this blue color right here. And it's being sold for around 15 to 16 dollars okay so that's what you want to do if you want to find who is the source for these products and make your profit between the source price and the selling price minus the amazon selling channel fees which i already went through but always make sure before you research a product to scroll down 
click on sell on Amazon and make sure that you do have permission to resell the product. Even if you see 15 other sellers, they could have asked for permission before actually being able to list it. Let's take a look at another product example. I found this seller selling this product. And as we can see right here from the right side, the product is being shipped from the seller and being sold by the seller. This means that, of course, it's not fulfilled by Amazon and that we could probably join the buy box for this product. Now, this one only has one seller. So even if you see only one seller, it doesn't mean that you should not try. Seeing how many sellers you have before entering the listing will simply give you an indication of what's going on with the listing. But if it's a new listing and there's only one seller, this could probably be a good chance to jump inside, sell at a better price and be number one at the buy box and make those sales and profits. A neat little trick to find these listings is to hover over the sort by and go with newest arrivals. New arrivals are most likely new products that sellers already went through the whole brand registry for creating these products. They did all of the hard work for us and we're simply going to try to join their buy box and list at better prices so that we'll make those sales. And that is how I found this product. So let's go ahead and take a look. I'm going to click on sell on Amazon just to make sure that I can before moving on and trying to see who his sources are and trying to sell at a better price. And as you can see right here, Amazon is allowing me to list this product and enter the buy box. So we know that this seller, there's only one seller selling it for $24.99 with free shipping. Let's see if we can do a better job than that. So I'm not going to list the product through Amazon. You can if you want to do it manually. So just enter your SKU right here, your selling price, the quantity, the condition of the product, which should be new. And you will choose I will ship this item myself, which is merchant fulfilled rather than fulfilled by Amazon. Then click on save and finish. But with this, you won't really have automation. So what we're going to do is we're going to add this product through AutoDS. But before that, we want to make sure that it's profitable, that we can actually come inside and sell at a better price than this and still make our profit. So as I just showed you, click on the product's image, right click on the main image. And in this case, I'm going to search for the goods on AliExpress search by image. You can, of course, use Google Lens, use both methods and find the cheapest supplier. So now the extension is doing its work. And lo and behold, I found the product right here for $5.78. Let's see how much it costs with shipping. So I clicked on the product to get to the product listing on AliExpress. And as you can see, it costs $5.78 for that same exact product that we see right here on Amazon, along with a shipping price of $4.62. So that comes down to just over 10, about 10, 10 and a half dollars, let's say. Let's even round it up to $11. So this seller is buying it for up to $11 and he's selling it for $24.99. So that's more than two times the source price. So obviously he's making some pretty good profit if he's making any sales here, but we can easily enter the buy box right here and sell at a cheaper price than the seller. And this is exactly how we're going to do it. So I'm going to leave the Amazon store link open as well as the AliExpress store link. I'm going to copy the AliExpress store link. I don't have to copy the whole URL. You can if you want, but I'm just going to do it up until the HTML, which is enough. So I'm going to copy the source suppliers URL. Then I'm going to go to AutoDS and I'm going to click on add products. I'm going to go with single product. Now here it's asking for the ASIN. The ASIN is the product ID on Amazon. OK, so first I'm going to enter the URL or product ID from our supplier, which in this case is AliExpress. But now we need to show the system what the ASIN is so that it's going to add our listing inside the buy box of this product. So this product's ASIN is this one, right? As we can see in the URL. So I'm going to copy the ASIN from here, head back to the AutoDS platform and paste the ASIN here. So now the system knows that we're trying to add this product from AliExpress into this ASIN right here on Amazon. So once I have those two complete, the supplier source is AliExpress. I'm going to click on publish to store just so that I can get it on my Amazon store. But I could also click on edit now quick, go to the draft section of my store and optimize the product from there. Only in this case, on Amazon listings, there is not that much to optimize. Now that I clicked on products, you can see that it already imported to my store. So that really took just a few seconds. And if I click on the product right here, then we can enter the product editor, which I can show you what we can and what we cannot edit on the product listing. So here's the product right here. We've got the title, which we cannot touch because the seller already created the title for this one and that we cannot change. We can add product tags so that we can easily be able to analyze our products later on and see how our tags perform. So I'm going to add a cat's tag to this one. And I'm going to enable price monitoring, stock monitoring and automatic orders because I want to automate my business and really be able to scale and succeed with the big numbers. The product description we really cannot touch. It's just like the titles. So the seller 
who actually manufactured this product already wrote the description and we cannot touch that. Then there's the product images and the item specifications. But because we really can't modify too many things, that is why I publish it directly to my store. Okay, so as we can see right here, this product belongs to the store name, my Amazon store. And if I click on the destination, it's going to take me to that product on my Amazon Seller Central. And as you can see right here, the product has already been listed on my Amazon Seller Central store. So I didn't have to do it manually in Amazon. Everything was done through the quick import system on AutoDS. And now if the prices change, if the stock changes and all the other automation things that I talked about, everything is going to be implemented inside this product. Now, of course, I can do this for hundreds and thousands and even tens of thousands of products without holding them in stock just waiting to get those sales so that i can fulfill them automatically by the system and enjoy the passive sales and profit while continuing to research the market for more products to sell to add to my amazon dropshipping store in the variance tab on auto ds i'm going to click on edit just to edit the price for this product. It's being listed at $18.71 using the 15% break-even fee that I showed you guys that I set a few minutes ago, as well as the 50% profit margin that I want to keep with this product. But I don't have to sell it this cheap. I don't need to be at $18.71. I can easily be at $23.99 because that seller was selling at $24.99, I believe. Being $1 cheaper is going to put me at the top of the buy box, meaning all of the shoppers who see this product are going to see me first as the seller. They're going to see my price and when they add to cart, they're going to be adding my product to the cart. So on AutoDS, I'm going to change it to $23.99 and I'm going to click on save. And as we can see, the price for this product on Amazon got updated to $23.99 and it will soon update here on the featured offer and put me at first place. It takes about 15 minutes for the process to finish. And that's how easy it is to add products to Amazon using AutoDS. Now you do not have to use only the single product importer. You can of course use the free AutoDS Chrome dropshipping extension to stand on a product search page like this, click on extract, and now all the 51 products on this page got extracted into this extension. Only here I'll probably be using a different supplier like AliExpress. Then I'll click on export as CSV. Then a CSV file will be downloaded onto my computer. Now because you're gonna be using this feature on other suppliers, like for example, let's go with a wholesale supplier, so see CJ Dropshipping. So you go to CJ Dropshipping's website and you search for cat toys. Okay, so the same process here. Let's say I want to add all these products to my store. First, I want to make sure that they exist on Amazon. But first, I'm going to extract a CSV file, download it onto my computer. Then I need to open up that CSV file and make sure that every product exists. And what I have to do is add a new column and add the ASIN next to each product if of course that product exists on Amazon. So use the methods that I showed you, use the image search to find the product on Amazon, copy the ASIN, paste it on the right side, and then when you're done on AutoDS, click on add products, this time go with multiple products and upload the CSV file right here. I hope that now you understand how to create your Amazon seller account the right way, pass the verification, learn how to research the right products to sell on Amazon, including what you can sell, what you cannot sell, and what products you are eligible to resell on Amazon by entering the buy box, finding the supplier, getting a good price so that you can be number one in the buy box and make those sales and profit that you've worked so hard for. Once again, the Amazon dropshipping cheat sheet is up for grabs. So all you have to do is like this video, comment hashtag Amazon, let me know what your top takeaways from this video and I will happily send you this Amazon dropshipping cheat sheet to get you started the right way. Once again, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and enable those bell notifications so that you will always stay one step ahead of your competition. Thank you for watching and good luck dropshipping on Amazon.